Hi, Bill. I just want to say congratulations on your retirement, and、uh, and I want to express my gratitude personally for the work that you did with、uh, Zach.、Um, he always talked about how passionate you were、um, as he was going through your classroom as as your student. He talked about how how much passion you had、uh, for the language arts and、um, how you brought the,、uh, the the classroom to life. And so I thank you. Um, I thank you for your contributions to his his own success.、Um, I know you've touched many children in the same manner, and so therefore you're going to be very truly missed at the Martha's Vineyard Regional High School and the Martha's Vineyard Public Schools. I wish you all the best, and again, congratulations, Bill. Take care. Hi, Bill.、Um, I've signed on to this platform here to make a retirement video for you, which I'm sure you'll be thrilled about.、Um, the question it's. Posting is what is your favorite thing about Bill McCarthy? Oh, what a great question! I feel like my favorite thing about you, or one of my favorite things about you, is、um, you seem to be somebody who's very present with whatever is happening in a given moment. So I think a lot of people are sometimes just very scattered. Uh, and not really open to the moment and whatever you know, funny conversation or recollection or spontaneous thing might occur in the moment.、Um, I read something recently that I think called it "to sojourn in the now."、Um, it was part of a poem. So I think you sojourn in the now. You're someone who I think once you're retired, you're gonna be fully embracing everything that that brings and. Like you fully embraced whatever every year of teaching has brought,、um, the enjoyable and the challenging, and I really respect that about you. And I know your students do as well. And they have been so blessed and lucky to have you as a teacher.、Um, I will miss you a lot. Bill, I just wanted to wish you a happy retirement. It's always a sad occasion when、uh, one of the New Yorkers、uh, departs, and、uh, I want to thank you for all the help you gave me over the years、uh, in my attempts to teach English. Be well. Bill McCarthy was my tenth grade English teacher. I wasn't naturally a fabulous English student.、Um, I had talents elsewhere, I would say, but I really lucked out in my K-12 education with the English teachers that I had.、Um, in ninth grade, I had Jeff Agnoli, tenth grade Bill McCarthy, eleventh grade John Morelli, and twelfth grade Christine Barone. And in tenth grade and eleventh grade.、Um, I would say that I really learned how to trust myself as a critical thinker, and realized that I did have、um, strong critical thinking skills.、Um, if it wasn't for Bill McCarthy, I wouldn't have been exposed to important books like *Brave New World* and *1984* at the important age.、Um, Of 16, and、um, who knew back then that those books would be so relevant and so important、um, today? So I want to say thank you, Bill McCarthy, for being an awesome English teacher. Congratulations, Bill! I can't believe it's your time to leave us. I'm so happy for you, though. Best of luck to everything. Two favorite memories that I have、uh, from working with you is one: you were a huge Mets fan. Here is an original picture from Mets Stadium back in 1962. I hope you've been there. I know they've moved on since then, but I hope that you had got there. And then, and then one other favorite. Memory I have of you is when you shared room 322 for a study hall a few years back, and in that I used to have all kinds of、uh, diagrams of the body systems, and one that you especially、uh, paid close attention to was the lymphatic system. Although you weren't too familiar with it, I hope that you will take some time.
uh, to uh, look at the lymphatic system in your retirement as it's a helpful cleansing type of system to help remove toxins from our body. I wish you all the best. I'm sure that your life will be great. Best of luck on everything that happens for you and your family going forward. Happy retirement, Bill. Uh -huh. Bonjour, happy retirement. So I get to speak first, um, yep. and I wanted to um, think about a couple of things that I remember about you. There's so many of them. I would have to talk for an hour. Um, but one of my favorites is just every once in a while walking down the hallway, and um, you would walk by, and you would start talking about something that was so um, English-related that had nothing to do with the Spanish that I was teaching. I'd be like, oh, wait a minute, hold on. I have to think about what he's saying because I just don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not that, I'm not that intelligent. I'm not that English intelligent. Um, and I just used to love it to hear coming out of your mouth, the, the beautiful words that I really couldn't come up with myself. Um, so that's one of my favorite memories of you. Um, one of the other ones is how much you love Daniel. And uh, I know he really enjoyed chess, one of his favorite things. And even till after he left, um, you were still, oh my Danny, oh my Danny. And it was just really nice to consistently have that connection um, and know that he was a very special part of your life. Um, so I'm gonna pass it now on to Pierre. Hey, hey, happy retirement. If you notice for me, number one, of course, I know you as the after class guy. I met you mostly at the library after class. We had time to chat. And of course, we always shared about Danielle's travels and stories you enjoy chess so did he and he missed you a lot i'm so happy that in the end the chess experience was good for you and daniel is doing wonderful he's going to move on to great things and again thanks to you happy retirement happy enjoy. retirement okay and we'll be in touch hey coach mccarthy good luck on your retirement It'll be sad having lost one more McCarthy in the building. I think I'll be the only one left. Have a great retirement. Bill, happy retirement. You've earned it. Um, just want to say that uh, you might be the smartest man I've ever met. Definitely are the smartest person I've ever met, actually. Um, I'm going to miss uh, senior class, uh, just walking by and sort of all the kids enraptured um, with whatever you're talking about. Um, and um, I know that the, the school's gonna miss you. Uh, the students you know, coming up in the future, they don't even know uh, what they're missing. Um, I hope that uh, you come back and sort of do some, you know, guest teaching because um, you have so much knowledge and so much, um, so much to say and so much to teach kids. Um, you know, so 40, 50 years from now, uh, when I'm ready to retire, you can come back and and uh, in, in school, my students on uh, Moby Dick and everything, um, because I, I'm fully convinced that you might be immortal. You are definitely immortal. Um, so you can come back and visit. Um, you'll look exactly the same. My beard will be down to uh, my navel and it will be fully white by that point. Um, but um, I'm really gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss our talks in the library. Uh, and just sort of chatting about, uh, you know, inner city teaching and just, you know, the different, you know, different trials and tribulations of uh, island life uh, being a wash ashore. But, um, you know, the department's going to miss you, as I said. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm going to miss you personally. So, um, you know, have a, have a good retirement. And as I said, come back, come visit, share your knowledge and um, see you soon. Hi, Bill. I just wanted to take a minute and wish you the best of luck in your next chapter and in retirement. It was great getting to know you last year doing the SAT prep thing, and I hope you enjoy all that retirement has to offer. Francis, we're going to miss you. Um, you know, it says, what is your favorite thing about Bill McCarthy? I don't know if I'm going to answer that question. Um, it's more of a memory I was talking to Captain Nelson in, oh, 10 years ago. Um, we went on a whale watching trip and we shouldn't have gone for various reasons. Uh, Northeast at 30 would be one reason. And I'll never forget, um, we told the kids, you know, everyone was getting a little sick and, you know, stay up, stay on top, keep your eye on the horizon. Um, and of course, they didn't listen. Um, 
And they went downstairs and one person got sick and then all of a sudden everyone else got sick. But what's funny about it, what I remember is um, you, me, Captain Nelson, and maybe Jack? I don't remember. We we're the only four people who, out of 38, I believe, that did not get sick. And then afterwards, we stayed in P-Town, and we found this great little restaurant, and we had the wonderful, most wonderful pot roast um, that we ever had. That was one thing, and before I forget, since I am the best red musician on the island, I don't know if you've read this book. Um, I saw him, he did like a little speech out in West Tisbury some, some years ago, but it's a great book, and it has a lot of philosophy, which you'd be into. Um... Yeah. Great having those heavy, heavy, heavy duty discussions that we used to engage in, in the classroom and in the hall. I wish you the best. Um, hopefully we'll see you around. And um, take care, my friend. Hi, Bill. We wanted to wish you the best as you're retiring. We've, we've enjoyed your words of wisdom over all of these years. Um, and you've certainly earned earned your retirement and want to, we want to wish you the best. We hope you enjoy your retirement. You've earned it. So congratulations. Congratulations. Hi, Bill. Happy retirement. Uh, I just want to let you know that my favorite thing about you is how passionate you are about teaching and about the students that you teach and just wanting them to know everything they can about English to be them their best writers and best readers they can be. Congratulations, Bill McCarthy, on your retirement. I'm definitely going to miss you. Mostly. I mean, just being honest, I'm really not going to miss you during schedule change time. I don't think you have any idea what kind of nonsense we put up with for kids, from kids who wanted to get into your class. Everything from, we don't understand, I have to get into his class, he's retiring and I'm just going to die if I don't take him. Or, this was a good one, oh but he wanted me to take his class, he told me I should take his class. Well that's great but it's still full. Or, but my friend said he's going to drop the class so I can get in. Or, what if I bribe somebody to... <laughs> now, I have no proof on that one, but I'm pretty sure that happened. Or the kids who said, well, I'm just going to sit in this class and take it anyway. I don't care what anybody says. So, yeah, I don't know what the hell you did in your classrooms, but kids went bonkers to get in and we had to put up with all that. So, definitely not going to miss that. Hi, Bill. Uh, I came across this passage the other day in... Parker Palmer's book, The Courage to Teach, and I Thought of You. It states, the claim that good teaching comes from the identity and integrity of the teacher may sound like a truism and a pious one at that. Good teaching comes from good people. But by in identity and integrity, I do not mean only our noble features or the good deeds we do or the brave faces we wear to conceal our confusions and complexities. Identity and integrity have as much to do with our shadows and limits, our wounds and fears, as with our strengths and potentials. The passage, of course, reminded me of you uh, in all your nobility and complexity. Uh, you have shown me always what it means to be an honest teacher, a passionate teacher, a curious teacher, and a teacher who practices with great humility. I am so deeply grateful for that. I also just wanted to send you off with a poem I also came across that I thought was beautiful and that might resonate with you as well. Blessing the Boats by Lucille Clifton. May the tide that is entering even now, the lip of our understanding, carry you out beyond the face of fear. May you kiss the wind, then turn from it, certain that it will love your back. May you open your eyes to water, water waving forever. And may you, in your innocence, sail through this to that. I wish you Godspeed, Bill, and I congratulate you on an incredibly meaningful life so far. Congratulations. Hey Bill, it's Corinne. I just wanted to say hello and congratulations on your recent retirement, you lucky bastard. It has been a privilege, beyond a privilege, really, might not have words to describe 
just teaching two doors down from you has been being together in the same place. Um, sometimes you're the very first person I will talk to when stuff happens. Um, the last person I see of the day, maybe the first person I see in the morning with your bike. But it has been nothing but a pleasure. Shoot, sorry, just broke something. Um, it has been nothing but a pleasure. Um, and probably one of my favorite, favorite memories of you is when you finally returned that book. I heard that I had left a bag of books and you couldn't wait to find out who the person was who was reading that collection of books. I'm pretty sure there was some Cuban revolution and revolution reader and probably some Lenin biography in there. But you know, you've made it when Bill McCarthy is impressed with your reading list. So good luck, good fortune on the next phase of it all. Have a good one, Bill McCarthy. It's been awesome. Ciao. I am so sad that this last quarter of the year um, where I could have spent time with Bill McCarthy, we were not at school together. Um, his wisdom, his demeanor, his calmness, his connection with the kids was always so inspiring to me as a teacher. I feel so lucky I got to teach with him. I got to talk to him. I got to debate philosophy with him. Um, and um, some philosophers say, is retirement the best thing that can happen to us? Or is retirement a capitalist ploy to rotate expensive and experienced workers out of the workforce? I would love to know what Bill McCarthy would say of that. Um, Seneca says about retirement, it is sort of a vaunting to make too much of one's concealment and of one's withdrawal from the sight of men. So-and-so has gone into his retreat at Tarentum. That other man has shut himself up at Naples. The third person has for many years not crossed the threshold of his own house. To advertise one's retirement is to collect a crowd. When you withdraw from the world, your business is to talk with yourself, not to have men talk about you. But what shall you talk about? Do just what people are fond of doing when they talk about their neighbors. Speak ill of yourself when by yourself. Then you will become accustomed to both speak and to hear the truth. I thought that was an interesting statement for Bill's retirement video. Um, Seneca really talks about people's weakness. I know Bill um, questioned the Stoics a little bit and their uh, value as uh, life lessons. But, um, and I certainly have no advice to offer. Um, I know Bill will continue to be curious, to read, to investigate. Um, and I'm just really sorry that we'll miss hearing all that as well the students because they certainly appreciate it as well. Thank you, Bill. My favorite memory with Bill was taking our SEI course and um, the humor he always brought to the class and always the last minute questions he'd come into the history office. Um, kind of being what that like what the heck are we supposed to do um and i'll remember how we got through that whole experience together um and he always brought humor and great insights um into the class and i loved our conversations in the hallway um bill thank you for all the things that you've done for the students your students in the school and um enjoy the next phase of um your career. Hey, Bill, congratulations. I just wanted to say uh, how much I appreciate all the many conversations we've had over the years in the library. Um, and I'm definitely going to miss um, seeing you every day in the library after school. Um, it's been great. Um, you are a walking encyclopedia of quotes and allusions from literature and film. Um, so I thought it would be appropriate to leave you with a short quote. Um, I think I might have mentioned this to you before. One of my favorite lines from Tom Waits is, always keep a diamond in your mind. And um, I think for you, there's always a diamond in your mind, Bill, and, and lucky are those who continue to enjoy your presence wherever you go next. Um, Early on, you were a railroad lineman 
and then you went into book sales um, and I heard you drove cab for a while and of course everyone knows uh, you're an amazing teacher over these many decades and but who knows where you're gonna go next um, will you ride off Kerouac style across the country I wouldn't be surprised but I hope to see you around congratulations Bill Bill McCarthy, congratulations and best of luck. Uh, you have affected generations of NVRHS students' lives. You are an amazing English teacher and someone I wish I could have had as an English teacher when I was in high school. Um, we wish you the best. We thank you for your impact, your wisdom, your calmness, um, and the amazing way you led students to literature. Congratulations. Bill McCarthy. When I think of Bill McCarthy, I think of a man who is engaging and kind. The small amount of time that I spent in his classroom was a warm reminder of times I spent in high school with my favorite English teacher. Bill makes language arts feel like the language of life, deep, relevant, and worthwhile. I walk past a lot of classrooms in the typical school day. Bill's classroom is consistently an oasis of focus and engagement. He will be missed. Hey Bill, congratulations on your retirement. Take care of yourself and have a great summer.